Hi, I'm Kevin Cameron, and I'm going to add to the list of things that have changed in the more recent sport bike engines. We talked earlier about the vertically stacked gearbox that enables engines to be made shorter front to back. What that does by placing the clutch shaft above the output shaft is it puts the clutch rather high on the engine. I often find myself doing a double take when I look at pictures of some of uh, the most recent engines because the clutch is up so high. This one is fairly up high. A high clutch identifies a vertically stacked gearbox. Another feature of modern engines is that they have narrow valve angles. In the old days, for example, with the BSA head that we looked at earlier, the valves are at a large angle so that when they built a four-cylinder engine they had a cam cover over the intake cam and a separate cam cover over the exhaust cam with a space down the middle in which you could see the spark plugs located. But with engines where the valve angle has been narrowed to make the combustion chamber flatter, a single cover can cover both cams because they're so close together because the valve angle, which was doing the split, has now <whistles> narrowed to the vicinity of 25 degrees or even less from what it used to be in classical times, say 1950, 90 degrees or even 100 degrees between the two valves, which would then have separate cam boxes. This device is only seen on engines with overhead cams that are driven by chain. The chain has to have, as we saw earlier, plastic dampers that prevent the free runs of the chain from vibrating and destroying themselves. This presses the shoe against the chain. This is a hydraulic operated one. Some are operated by springs. The fact that this is on the back of the engine rather than the front indicates that this run of the cam drive chain is slack and this run is the one that's doing the work. It's tight. That means that the engine is turning this way, the same direction as the wheels. We call that a forward rotating engine. Cam tensioner on the back of the cylinder means forward rotating engine. The first time that I saw Yamaha's early M1 MotoGP engine I noticed that the cam chain tensioner was on the front and that was a dead giveaway that that was a backwards rotating engine. Why would they do that? Because you have two big gyroscopes on a motorcycle that want to keep on spinning just as they are. When you steer the front wheel and try to lean the motorcycle over, those big gyros, the wheels, their tires, the rims, the brake discs, resist that with a precession force. So does the crankshaft. So if we rotate the crankshaft backward, its precession force will cancel some of the precession force from the wheels and the motorcycle will roll over more quickly. Ducati reversed the rotation of their engine only the last year or two and Honda only a little while before that. For a long time, Yamaha had the only reverse rotating engine in MotoGP. Now they are all doing it. Of course, their camshafts are driven by gears because those are pure racing engines. This is a production engine. It has chain-driven cams. Therefore, it has to have a tensioner. Tensioner on the back of the cylinder means forward rotating engine.